When it comes to the history of horror films, sometimes it would we have like say the case of the use of gimmicks. And when it comes to that genre, no one really we have no one better to thank than the director William Castle. William Castle would always use like say gimmicks in his films like to like say get a reaction out of his audience. Whether it was the idea of the use of, in a way, 3D. Materializing in ectoplasmic color through the magic of Illusiono, the ghost viewer. Ah! Um, the use of a skeleton going through the audience in films like such as the um, House on a Hill. He was, the, he was a bit of, he did a lot of those. But today, looking at one of his films, which is 13 Ghosts. Let's check it out. Greetings and salutations, how's everybody doing? Sorry a bit about, uh, like, say, um, the, like, the schedule for videos, um, busy, I wasn't really bit busy yesterday for Valentine's Day, so I apologize. Um, so today we're looking at the film 13 Ghosts. <laughs> And this is the film from 1960. And it was produced and written, directed by William Castle. I mean, William Castle, that name sounds familiar. Well, yes, uh, like, William Castle, like, when he, he would use, like, say, gimmicks. In <laughs> Like, whether it was, like, have you ever heard of the film, uh, The House on Haunted Hill? Basically, like, in that film, like, he would use, like, say, a skeleton that would go and, like, fly around the audience at specific times. Or, in this film, which used the, the eye of illusion, though. Um, it's sort of like, it's sort of like, uh, 3D glasses, except, like, two sides of it. And then you put it on, and then you'd see... Now you see the terror sort of deal. You'll feel all the thrills and chills of seeing one ghost multiplied by the magic number 13. However, like, say, since the film was... Since the film is now on home video and all that stuff, um, the video releases of the film are intended to simulate the effect without the need of the glasses. So what was the film about? Well, a group... A family is... Um, after a lot of bit of, like, financial issue, uh, going through financial trouble, a family discovers that they have inherited a house, and, however, the catch is that it is full of ghosts. Twelve, actually. I'm gonna be honest, I have only seen the, I have only seen, originally seen the remake. I have not seen this film. But, um, I'm going to be honest, I feel like this film is a product of the 60s. Father, mother, sister, brother. <laughs> You'll be scared stiff too when you see what they see. And although, without this film, we wouldn't get the remake, which honestly I have a bit of a guilty pleasure towards. Um, I do have to say that... It has some creative ideas, whether it is like a ghost that's on fire, or the idea of a ghost lion and all that. The ghost of a lion in the basement. I mean, I mean honestly, um, yeah, um, compared to today, it is just, it comes off, uh, some of the things come off as silly, and I'll be honest, the acting is still good for the time period that it what happened. It was from 1960. And I can 
feel like, say, this is the kind of film that you would want to watch, like, say, you'd watch for Halloween or anything like that, you'd probably, like, watch it as, like, a double feature, like, say, this and House on Haunted Hill or something like that. And, yeah, I mean, just have, like, a classic a horror movie time, all that. I'm gonna be honest, like, say, the humor of this film feels a bit... It feels like it feels like a product of the time. Like one of the actresses in it, Margaret Hamilton as Elaine. She, uh, if you didn't notice, she was actually the actress who played the witch in The Wizard of Oz. Stay out of this, Glinda, or I'll fix you as well. Oh, <laughs> rubbish! You have no power here. Be gone before somebody drops the house on you too. Very well, I'll bide my time. And as for you, my fine lady, it's true, I can't attend you here and now as I'd like. But just try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. And I will be, I will say that, uh, some of the ideas, like, are relatively still kind of cool. Like, the idea of, like, using a glasses idea to see, like, ghosts, but only for the few, for the characters in the film. I mean, you don't really do that much anymore. Like, the idea of illusion or smell of vision I feel like to say that is a... Especially smell of vision that's kind of like a... Like a gimmick that should just stay... gone. So overall, I guess this film is honestly kind of fun. It has its... silly moments Honestly, like the fact that uh, the lawyer who's basically the villain who tried to trick the family in so he could get all the money that is hidden in the house and his death sequence is from a canopy bed and, all, and the sequence is it looks like he's just pushing himself into the bed. <laughs> It's, it's still kind of cheesy, honestly. But I enjoy it. I think it's kind of fun. But what do you, what do you think? Well, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And as always, don't forget to keep your popcorn warm, your drinks ice cold, and your eyes on the screen. I shall most definitely see you guys next time. See you later.